You might remember this 2014 movie by Benedict Cumberbatch where he plays a mathematician. He builds a huge computer and is able to decipher the cryptic messages from Nazi Germany. We were going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. This movie is based on real life and about 50% of the things shown in the movie are true. The headquarters of this covert operation was Bletchley Park, which is a part of the city. This is the famous Bletchley Park. There are a lot of cool things inside, but they do charge you for it. And the ticket for an adult costs around £24. Milton Keynes is located north of London and has a direct train which takes roughly 40 minutes. If you choose to drive, then it will approximately take an hour to reach. It seems that Milton Keynes is a recently developed city, which for the most part it is, but it is also surrounded by very old towns such as Newport Pagnell, which dates back to 11th century. Also, the name of this city, Milton Keynes, was coined in the 13th century and was based on an old town named Middleton Kane. I wonder if Kate Middleton has anything to do with this place. The new parts of this city came into existence around 1960s and everything was planned based on North American cities with a lot of horizontal and vertical roads. All the city road names start with the letter H or V. Take the second exit onto Fulmer Street, B3. Along with this horizontal and vertical grid system, Milton Keynes copied the roundabouts and then went crazy with it. There are more than 130 roundabouts in the city and they seem to be increasing every single day. Wait, when did they build this roundabout? It's like the city secretly wants to keep the speed of your car in check. Red Bull's Formula 1 team is headquartered at Milton Keynes and one would assume that the race cars will always stay on the race track, but that's not always true. In 2012, two Red Bull drivers took the race cars on the street and over 60,000 people showed up to watch them drive on the roads of Milton Keynes. People can go to Red Bull factory to take a tour which would last around 2 hours and it would cost you 300 pounds. The total population of Milton Keynes in 2011 was 230,000 people and it has now increased to 287,000 people. The housing market has been developed accordingly and as a matter of fact there are more show homes in Milton Keynes than in any other city in the United Kingdom. Behind me is the show home of Taylor Wimpy. They are one of the many builders who are constructing homes in this area. And as you can see, just after these newly constructed houses is the Crown Hill Park. There is nothing special about this park other than the fact that we sometimes play cricket here. And if you follow us on Instagram, then I will show you some glimpse of it the next time we are out here to play. But such parks are within half a mile from every house in Milton Keynes. And within those parks and around them are 15 lakes and 11 canals. Also in 1975, some 22 million trees were planted in Milton Keynes. There are so many trees here, it feels so fresh. You know, there's even a narrow path for people to walk, jog, do whatever they like. And it's not just trees. The city of Milton Keynes also thought about open spaces and parking. There are more than 20,000 public parking spaces available in the central part of Milton Keynes. Parking in the city is way easier than parking in other cities. Try finding a parking space in Brighton or in London. You will get it, but not as easily as here in Milton Keynes. The central part of Milton Keynes also has a huge shopping center and you can get more or less everything here. If you talk about universities, then Milton Keynes has an open university which was the world's first ever distance learning institution to award degrees. And since 1971, over 1 1.6 million students have studied here. Also, an average of 5 companies move to Milton Keynes every month which is substantially improving the job prospects for local residents. The average house price in Milton Keynes is close to £324,000 for a semi-detached house. And if you want to rent one bedroom house, then it would cost you around £1,000. Interestingly, irrespective of where you are in Milton Keynes, there are five international airports within 90 minutes of you. So whether you have to travel by yourself or need to pick someone from the airport, no airport is too far. There are many more interesting facts about the city. Some old, some new, and some are outright weird. But for all these facts, you will have to come to this beautiful city and experience them yourself. In case you live too far, then just go to the description box. There are a lot more facts about Milton Keynes mentioned there.